Hello, Buttoots. This is Jim Sterling here. Uh, I've just been playing Seven Days to Die uh, for a little while, um, and I press record, but either the recording turned off during a transition screen, or I thought I'd press record and it didn't. Um, but you've so far missed me running from some zombies, uh, having a really nice conversation about sound design in game. In, in games, uh, rather, uh, which I'm loath to have lost. Uh, yeah, so we've started in media res, uh, to use a term I learned from the three film studies courses I did. I say courses, I mean lessons. I did one course. Ah! Ah! Exploding bush! I'm a little bit jumpy because, uh, in the conversation I had that won't be in this video now, I was talking about how effective sound design is. And the really horrible screeching noises of the zombies in this game is very effective. Or sorry, are very effective. Let's talk pro properly like proper human adults. This is one of those early access games. Like, uh, so many early access games. Bug Toots wasn't a very imaginative, uh insulting intro. Uh, I believe in the original recording I had referred to you all as knob carrots. So imagine that instead of butt toots, which is probably something said on Adventure Time, uh, just imagine I said knob carrots, which is obviously far better. Empty cam. That's no good. Look at that. House fire took the whole forest with it. As I stand here, like a Native American, with a little tear going down my cheek. That's not racist, what I just said there. That's a. Oh god, there's more screaming. I was referencing a film. A film that more people have probably seen parody references to than actually seen the film. I know I ain't fucking seen it. Ugh. Ugh, the noises. Now, uh, as I said in the bit that... I think in the bit that I didn't record, I don't know if there's an overall goal to this outside of basic survival. Uh, so far, the game has consisted mostly of... Uh, Walking through a forest and running through a forest. You know, there are zombies and things. Having a bit of a scream and a shout. Alright, yeah. But what we're going to do here is uh, what I like to call uh, the London trick. It's uh, one of the many survival tips that you pick up in London. Is if you see some fellas look a bit shifty, look like there might be trouble... Keep your head straight forward and just walk. Don't make eye contact, just walk. Uh, hope they don't mug you until you get to the bus stop. And then uh, hopefully by that time they'd have gotten bored and wandered off and found a granny to throw in a trash can head first. As is one of the many hobbies of my people in the homeland. My good old Great Britain. That's what makes the English great, as our long and storied tradition of throwing grannies headfirst in bins. What the hell? Oh, I thought that was footsteps. I thought a big Tyrannosaurus Rex like from Jurassic Park was going to come. Ooh, can of chili. Yes, please. Scrap metal? I'm assuming for use in crafting or something. Actually, just take all. I was going to accidentally hit that anyway, I might as well hit it on purpose. So we're just going down this path really so far. That's more screaming. Again. We're just walking, walking home. Oh, oh that's not nice. As I was saying in the other video, an effective horror theme game is all in the sound. 
It's all about uh, using audio to really chill the player. It's why Silent Hill 2 is my favourite game. Uh, and it's why so far I've been finding this somewhat effective. Uh, graphics and all. Although the graphics I don't mind, because I've, I've said before on one of my Jimquisition videos on the Escapist magazine. Uh, effective horror is ugly horror. That's why horror games with quote-unquote bad graphics um, often work just as well as any pretty looking game. Because horror isn't beautiful. You know, it's hideous and ugly and raw to sound waffly and pretentious. There we go, we're alright. But again, I've no real goal so far that I've found. We're just walking. You did miss a bit where I uh, walked into a zombie and did a little bit of a shout and a scream. Not on purpose. I know that's a big thing of uh, YouTubers is to do the whole shouting and screaming thing as a matter of course. I like my reactions au naturel. Natural more, as it were. Which is why I'm such a boring twat. Really? Because I ain't gonna fake it, even if it would make the video more entertaining. Homie, don't play that. In fact, we can punch things though, we can do that. I might get bored in a minute and just punch a zombie in the face and his stupid face. Where is one? I can fucking hear him everywhere. The sounds come from all around you. There must be one over this brow. No, there isn't. They sound really close. I can hear a dog. That's a dog. Oh! Oh dear! I don't want to punch that in the face. We'll thwart it by jumping uh, apparently into a chasm. That wasn't the plan. It'll be alright. It'll be alright. Day one, mauled to death by a dog. That would look bad on the resume. <laughs> Fucking idiot dog. I'm not up there, you mong. That's alright, we've uh, successfully avoided the dog. Let's find a human zombie to punch in the face. Ah! Oh, that was him. Stop moaning. I guess we need to eat something, though. I'm, I'm assuming we may need a can opener, though. I say, I say that, I don't know. Let's try. Oh, no, no, no. He just ate through the metal. This dude's fucking jaws from James Bond. That's awesome. Why aren't they eating the zombies through the face? Fucking do a little bit of uh, roll reversal, see how they like it. I don't know what those birds' nests do. More dogs. Well, that might be the same dog. Yeah, just having a bit of a walk around. Uh, Christmas Eve tomorrow, as I record this. I'll uh, maybe do something Christmassy tomorrow. Probably won't bother doing anything on Christmas Day. I have a family, you so... see. <laughs> Obviously, we're only doing this because she's a zombie, right? You know, we're not... I'm not making a statement. But... We killed a zombie! We did it! Player Jim Sterling eliminated infected woman... Don't bring up her gender! I was trying to avoid that! Good God. But we got some water. So now we're learning a good way to get what you want 
is to punch a zombie in the face. But we will wait until they're alone. What is a nurse doing in the forest? Well, I know what this one's going to be doing in a minute. Getting punched in the face. That's it. Let's uh, get out of there. Punch it! Punch it in the face! In the face! In the face! In the face! She'll be dead in a minute. Any time now. Any second. There we go. Plagued nurse. Yeah, plagued by punches in the face. But that's two man zombies I have to hit now to make it okay. I'm not going to those ones over there. Oh god, there's that dog again. We're gonna go this way. I will not be bitten on the ass by a dog today. We recently got a puppy. I've had enough of being fucking bitten by dogs. That one decides, oh, I know what is good to eat. People, well, basically just Jim. Let's eat Jim. That's the dog's idea of a good fucking laugh. Last thing I need is a zombie dog in the mix. God, that hunger's gone down pretty quick. Apparently eating metal isn't a, a, a good source of sustenance. But, that was a shotgun. We're gonna... Oh, no. Oh, my bad. I apologise for that foolishness. We are now in a good way. A little bit hungry, but we've still got some chilli. And the tasty, tasty metal that surrounds it. Talking of zombies, I've been playing that Dead Rising 3. I've never been majorly into the Dead Rising games. I've got nothing against them. It's just I never really got round to playing them very much. But... I got an Xbox One, eventually, and uh, had fuck all else to do with it, so I got that Dead Rising 3, and it's pretty legit. I've been enjoying it a lot. I know a lot of people said it's not as humorous as, as the other games, but still pretty funny. The Psychos... Uh, uh, oh god, what's that? Oh! Oh dear! We're in a bad place. Well, shit. I guess green lies the bad place. I mean, is that really just like an end of the world scenario? Are we going... Oh god. Oh god. We're going to get out of here because uh, cause that wasn't good. Last thing we need is a runner. Oh god, I can hear them. I can hear them chasing after me. And he's not running anymore. Oh god. Oh god. Oh! This is where we end this little experiment, I think. Get up there! Ah, fuck! Dog, where? Whoa, whoa! God, it's going mental! I mean, I... That... Oh, fuck me! This... Oh, this wasn't a good idea. Ah! Oh, fuck, fuck, shit. I don't 
don't like it! That's it, we just make our stand! If this is where we fall, we will fall fighting! We took one of the bastards down! And that's really what matters. We did what we had to do. And that was seven days to die. A surprisingly unnerving little game, thanks mostly to the sound. I, I, I thought that was alright. Clearly rough as shit, but not bad. Anyway, that's up on Early Access if you want to pay full price for an incomplete game. Uh, you know, I'm in two minds about Early Access as it is, but that, that, that was amusing. For me, anyway. I mean, you people might be very bored by now. Anyway, thank you for watching the video. Thank God, of course, for me. And, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye.